The Rock took your slap like a man. As a matter of fact, The Rock started smiling. Yeah. Because The Rock likes pain. But that's a whole other conversation. Hey, yo, what you mean by that, bro? What, what are we talking about? Are we still talking about wrestling or are we talking about something else? That's all I'm trying to figure out. What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, we got to check out what The Rock just recently said. He dropped a video and uh, he posted a tweet to his official Twitter page. Um, this should be very interesting. I love what he's been doing. I know some people feel like it's long-winded promos and stuff like that outside of the show but i love what he's been doing with every week so far before the smackdown like the same day that he's supposed to be on smackdown he drops like a little message a little promo stuff that he would want to say on television but can't say or they don't have enough time for him to say so i'm very interested to see what he has to say this time we're gonna get right into this one uh, a lot of you guys will tag me on Instagram and Twitter to check this out. So that's what I'm here to do. Let's get right into this. Let's read the tweet first. A message from the hottest heel pro wrestling has seen since the 80s. Mama Rose. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's bringing up the mama now. If you guys saw Cody's very emotional promo talking about he wanted to bring the championship to, to his mom since his dad's not here. Oh, this is this is already starting off rogue. Mama Rose, you're now in the Rock's crosshairs. Oh, man. Your son's blood will be on the Rock's belt that I will personally deliver to you at WrestleMania. I'm going to put a whooping on that boy in front of his mama. So don't you go crying in front of the world when I do. People's champ final boss all right cody bro yeah you slap you slapped him last week but that's not enough bro he done went after your dog he already talked about your father even though he didn't disrespect your father roman did but he's mentioned your father in a way of you know saying that you were a mistake so that's already a foul and now he's brought up your mom and he says he's going to bring your blood to your mom at WrestleMania. That's three. Come on, three strikes you out. <sighs> Cody better than me. Fuck all them three-piece suits. I'm dressing comfortably because I'm about to comfort comfortably beat your ass. That's just me personally. That's just me. You're going to need all the JAG security. I'm coming after you, bro. You know what I'm saying? You may get attacked in the parking lot as soon as you walk into the arena. What happened to The Rock? Who knows? All right. <laughs> Let's see what he has to say, man, because this nigga Rock is a menace, bro. But I'm here for it. Good morning. Good morning on this Friday morning. Did you guys have a good week? Did you have a productive week? I hope so. Did you get a lot of ass kicking done? I hope so. You're gonna end your week on a down note or you're gonna end your week on an uptick? Getting momentum going into the weekend? I hope so. Mo motivation. It's been a big week. It has been an exciting week. It's a big week here in the world of professional wrestling. Okay. Because once again, professional wrestling is cool. <laughs> Once again, professional wrestling is relevant. Once again, everyone's talking about professional wrestling. Why? Because of one man. Huh. And you're looking at him because of The Rock, because of the people's champion. Professional wrestling is happening because of the final boss, The Rock. And it feels good. It feels good. Selling out everywhere from Dallas, Texas, Glendale, Arizona, Salt Lake mm -hmm. City, Utah. Memphis, Tennessee, tonight, after this workout, The Rock is going to jump on his private jet. He's going to fly down to Memphis, Tennessee, and get ready. Live SmackDown, The Rock is coming home, baby. Mm. Cannot wait. Should be interesting. Can't wait to see what he got to say. That's good unleaded. That's good unleaded. It's been a big week, though. A lot to celebrate. Ratings are up. 
sellouts everywhere. Hold on. Friday night SmackDown audience up 16% in a demo as Dwayne The Rock Johnson makes his return to the ring. The Rock has been heating up heating things up for WWE since Dwayne uh Johnson's return to the ring in January. Friday night SmackDown has seen some significant audience growth. I mean, that's that's kind of expected. I mean, it's The Rock. It's the biggest storyline they've done in wrestling uh for WrestleMania uh season in quite some time. It makes sense. Where The Rock goes, wrestling is cool again all because of The Rock. It's also been a big week because everyone is talking. Last week, everyone is talking about the slap that was heard around the world. Mm -hmm. Finally, Cody Rhodes grew some balls. Finally, that little <laughs> boy got some hair on his nuts and he slapped the shit out of The Rock. <laughs> he slapped the shit out of me. <laughs> Take a look probably gonna have to cut this out so if there's a jump cut i mean you've seen the slap so i'm gonna have to cut this out for copyright reasons so they're gonna end up trying to block the video but yeah mm. <laughs> well done cody rhodes the rock has been waiting for you to man up giving him a challenge that's worthy of the great one Ooh, that was a good slap too what did the rock do he didn't pretend like he was angry. He didn't get a bunch of goofs and jabronis trying to hold him back. No, no, no. The Rock took your slap like a man. As a matter of fact, The Rock started smiling. Yeah. Because The Rock likes pain. But that's a whole other conversation. Hey, yo, what you mean by that, bro? What are we talking about? Are we still talking about wrestling or are we talking about something else? That's all I'm trying to figure out. We still talking about wrestling? Oh, we still talking about wrestling. Y'all think we still talking about wrestling? And Cody Rhodes, The Rock couldn't wait. The world couldn't wait to see how you were going to react and respond oh, no. after that Friday slap. On Monday Night Raw, two days later, what were you going to do? And you get on Monday Night Raw, you get in the middle of that ring, the world is watching, and here's what you did. Here's how you responded to the biggest moment of your career when you slapped The Rock. Take a look. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> bro, this thing is a menace, bro. This nigga pouring out his emotions for his mom, his family. And this nigga said, are you? Fucking kidding me? What the hell is this? <laughs> my, this is great. This is fine. <laughs> you start fucking crying. <laughs> you start crying. That's how you respond. No wonder all your fans are crybabies. I knew this was Cody coming. Crybabies. No wonder because they're Superman. They're hero. He start crying too. You can cry. You can cry. <laughs> I can't give the belt to Dusty, but I can give it to my mama. I can give it to my mommy. <laughs> my mommy. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> give it to your mommy. <laughs> He's so disrespectful, bro. Cody, this is this is funny, bro. Not the goosebumps. This is how real it is to the rock. Chills. This is how real it is to The Rock. God damn, smack the shit out of his form. You ain't giving the title to your mama. You ain't giving that title, the universal title, to your mama. That title is gonna remain around the waist of Roman Reigns. What? Here's what's gonna happen at WrestleMania. Uh-oh, here's the to the disrespect. Rock wants your mama to have a front row seat. Mama Rhodes, The Rock is talking to you. Uh-oh. Yeah. Now you're in the rocks, crosshairs. Here's what's gonna happen. Mama Rhodes, you're not gonna get the universal title handed to you on night two of WrestleMania. No, no, no. You're gonna get a title handed to you. You're gonna get a belt handed to you. It's gonna be, it's gonna be the rocks belt. It's gonna be something like this. Oh boy. Something like this, leather. Brahma Bull, blood, sweat, respect, the blood part, 
That's going to be your son's blood. Oh, it's yep. going to be all over this belt. Here we I'm go. Gonna take this belt, Mama Rhodes, and I'm going to whoop your son. <laughs> I'm going to whoop him like a dog. I'm going to whip the piss out of him. <laughs> I'm going to whip the blood out of him. I'm going to get all his blood on this belt and all his sweat on this belt is what I'm going to do. I'm going to whoop him. And whoop God him. damn. And whoop him. And whoop him. In front of the world. Now I'm going to take this belt, Mama Rhodes. This motherfucker really does like pain. It's not about wrestling no more. It, it's definitely not. <laughs> full of your son's blood. And then I'm going to hand it to you in front of the world. And I'm going to say, here you go, Mama Rhodes. You're going to be crying just like your son, just like all of his Cody Crybaby fans, because you're all a bunch of crybabies. You're going to be crying. <laughs> Why are you so mean to my son, Rock? Give you this belt, Mama Rhodes. And I'm going to say, Mama Rhodes, here's your belt. Now down is the direction you can sit. I'm going to look at your son who's going to be in the middle of the ring bleeding. Wow. Down is the direction you can sit. All right, here we go. He, he just, he's having fun at this point. And crying. Look at all his Cody Crybaby fans. And tell them off. Is a direction you can fuck. And that's how you end a story. And that is how Cody Rhodes, your story is gonna end at WrestleMania, boy. Crying in a pool of your own blood, this belt sitting in your mama's lap. <laughs> and Mama Rhodes, don't worry. There's two things that you can do about it. Nothing unlike it. Cody Rhodes at WrestleMania, your story is going to end courtesy of Roman Reigns and courtesy of your nightmare. Your nightmare. That was that was a nice line. The Rock. I like that. The final boss. Give you some mail. Well, the Rock is cooking. Is he gonna say it again? Yep. Now, Mama Rhodes. Uh oh. Don't go crying too much now. <laughs> He's an asshole, bro. See you at WrestleMania. He's an asshole, oh, bro. Shit. <laughs> what? <laughs> He's an asshole, bro. He's a fucking asshole. <laughs> oh man, I thought he was gonna say "fuck your story" still. You know what I'm saying? But I like what he said there. What I've noticed with The Rock's promos is he whatever he says that's like the highlight, he kind of reiterates it, brings it back around, and incorporates it into each and every promo. Some people may say it's repetitive, but I personally don't have a, a, a problem with it. He kind of just adds to, I guess you can say, then you know, the heel likeness, the heelness of the promo itself with everything that he's come up with so far. He just adds on a little bit to um the newer promo that he ends up talking about um i wonder if they're gonna actually have his mom at this year's wrestlemania to be honest with you the way they're setting it up yeah it, they're they're setting this up for cody to win this bro there's no <laughs> there's no reason to just dog this guy out only to have him lose still the way they're setting this up maybe having his mom out there like yeah, they, they are really trying to stack the deck. And I don't know if you guys realize that, but now he's coining himself as the final boss. Granted, he is one of, you know, he considers himself one of the bosses. He's one of the board members, but it's very interesting. And, and I don't want to look too deep into it and create theories and stuff like that, but it's very interesting. We've always looked at Roman as the final boss, but he's calling himself the final boss. So I don't know if you guys picked up on that. Maybe it's nothing to really think about. Nothing to really uh, look deep into. But the fact that now he wants to call himself the final boss. is very interesting. Because we've all looked at Roman as the ultimate final boss in WWE. And now he's calling himself that. So it's going to be very interesting to see how things play out. Looking forward to seeing what the rock has to say on smackdown i did love cody's promo and the rock makes a point he went out there and started getting emotional i just i need cody i don't know if it's gonna happen i don't think it's part of the character that they want to tell with him but 
It's something about the aggressiveness. I need that more. Slap was cool. We know you're doing it for your fam, but they're disrespecting you. I need more aggressiveness. I need a little bit more fire in the promos, you know, especially when you're on Monday Night Raw. Talk your talk. Let The Rock know, you know what I'm saying, that I'm not going to be no light worker like you think I am. I would definitely. Now, granted, I don't know what he can and can't say. You know what I'm saying? I'm not sure what he's allowed to say. But if I'm The Rock, I let him go ahead. Go crazy. Make make money. Make some money out of this. Even more money. Get it a little bit personal. That's all I'm saying. Because the dude, The Rock's came at his damn near his whole family. The only thing he hasn't came at is his wife and kids. Will that be the the, the last straw? Like, I don't know. But I, I want a little bit more aggressiveness. I like the slap. And I like some of what he did last week on SmackDown. But I need him to keep that intensity. I, I love the promo. Don't get it twisted. I love his promo on Monday Night Raw. That shit was very emotional, very touching. But at the same time, The Rock does make a point. You would think he would come in a little bit differently. Granted, the questions that was asked to him, you know, kind of brought that up. But I do want him to get that, get a little bit angry. It's okay to be angry, you know. Try to, if you know you're in a, a tough situation, I would do as a smart baby face, which they tend to not do in WWE, I would find a way to build some type of tension between Roman and The Rock. He started to do it last week, and then, you know, they went another direction. But build that tension between these two, because you know, at the end of the day, their egos will not allow them to truly be on one page for too long. The common enemy is you. Make the common enemy between them, each other. That's how I would have tried to book this story. Always pitting Rock against the Roman. Making Roman feel like he's less than. Simple as that. I would build that up. That would be one of my story, like one of my things I would say. I'm like... I'm actually looking forward to facing The Rock more than Roman. You want to know why I'm looking forward to facing The Rock more than Roman? Because it's simple. The Rock is the bigger star. Roman's just a placeholder. And when I beat The Rock and I eliminate all his family member from family member and bloodline members from being there, Roman, I can take care of him with no problem. Because y'all know Roman. Roman needs the bloodline. The Rock doesn't. The Rock is the better competition. So I'm glad this happened the way it did. You know, because when I face Roman, we know Roman can't win without the bloodline. So you take the bloodline away. Now, now he's not as good. The Rock doesn't even realize he's actually hurt his own family member. Because when I pack him up, I'm going to pack up Roman and there ain't going to be nobody to save him. Like something like that. I don't know. There's ways they could do this. So, or could have did this. So comment down below. Let me know. Did you guys enjoy this promo segment from the rock on Twitter or on Instagram, wherever you watched it. And are you guys excited for tonight's episode of SmackDown to see what's going to happen? Appreciate all the love and support. You guys shown on channel road to 50 K and I'm seeing you on speed to YouTube wrestling champion of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking me. See you on the next one. Peace.